Hey guys, this is uh, SAT 1 Math with Joe Beck once again. Uh, welcome, this is uh, Lecture 5. So today we will be going over the second part of the algebraic methods, okay? And we'll be focusing on multiples and factors. Okay, I forgot to remind you guys last time, but today, mainly if you guys have your bearings book, it'll be 4.4. Uh, we're going to be going over a little bit of things that uh, are in the book as well. Uh, now, just to review the challenge that you guys had for homework, okay? Hopefully you guys all got it right. Okay, it says if k plus 1 over k squared is equal to 16, then k squared plus 1 over k squared is equal to, okay, and we're going to be doing this one today together. Okay, so now one thing that we have to notice is that uh, when we have k plus 1 over k squared, right, we can actually do that out, right? So we learned from the last lecture that if we have something that is squared, right, it's the same thing as multiplying by itself. Right? Now, you know, it adds a little bit of a twist to it when we have a fraction in it, but it is no different, right? So if we FOIL it, right, we get k squared, okay, so it's the inside, right, uh, and then we do the outer, right, so k times 1 over k, so basically k over k is equal to 1, correct? So we could just say k over k is 1, then one same thing, 1 over k times k is k over k, which is again 1, right? Then we do 1 over k times 1 over k, which is 1 over k squared, okay? So now we have k squared plus 1 over k squared plus 2 is equal to 16. Now remember, again, don't try to do all of this out and then find out what you need to get, right? Just Again, or underline it, or square it, or whatever. It says, what is k squared plus 1 over k squared equal to? Okay, that's what they want, right? They don't want you to solve all of these things out, figure out what k is. No, you don't need to do all, any of that stuff, right? So since we already know, hey, look, you know, it's the same thing, right? All we need to do is, hey, minus 2 here, minus 2 here, and that is equal to 14. So 14 is equal to k squared plus 1 over k squared. It's exactly what they want. Therefore, D is the right answer, right? So very simple. This problem didn't take long at all, right? People just get tripped up because they try to solve for k or they try to, like, uh, square root and then re-square and things like that. And it complicate everything. Instead of complicating, just think as simply as you can. Just go for the goal um, and then, you know, you'll get it. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy these uh, super challenge questions. Uh, my students usually struggle with some of them, but like I said, you haven't seen anything too super yet. But when you do, hopefully, you know, you'll have fun trying to solve it. If you have trouble, then, uh, you know, you'll learn a lot from just my explanations as well. Okay, so as usual, it's our daily strategy day. Right, strategy time, right? This one is actually one of the easier strategies. However, right, if you don't um, understand this strategy, then you might get tripped up and get something wrong on a e really easy problem. Okay, let's say we have x squared is equal to 4x. Okay, then x is equal to, okay? So we will actually go over this in the third part when we go over zeros, okay? So the third part of algebraic methods. But, you know, we just want to take a look at it, uh, you know, a little preview of it before. Okay, so if you have x squared and we put 4x to this side and we say 0, right, we can actually solve for each of the x's by taking the x out. So we can say x minus 4. Okay, so if x times x minus 4 is equal to 0, okay, which basically means we could take each individual one and set it, equate it to 0. So if x equals 0, right, and x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, solving this one out, this is x is equal to 4. So our two